guys, it's me Jess here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but pretty way. I'm not a fashion designer. I didn't go to any fashion school or work in the fashion industry. I simply just love sewing and want to make my own clothes. That's why I never set a design on the clothes that I make. They are the inspiration that I got from so many different clothing brands out there. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make my Valentine dress. This dress looks like a draft dress, but it's actually not 100% a draft dress. I make it with a bow neck to increase the family look, go along with the bat wing sleeve. You might be surprised that this beautiful dress I make from such a simple pattern and I was trying to show the pattern making process as simple as possible so you all can follow along to make your own beautiful dress. So hope you guys will like it and check it out and let's get started. The first step is making the pattern for the dress. To make the back pattern, I draw a straight line cutting the edge horizontal line first. From the first straight line, I draw another 1-2cm next to it. From the end of the second straight line, I mark up 14cm, which is the half of the next side that I want. Then drawing a perpendicular line through that mark. The length of this line will be 3.5cm, which is the deep at the back of the dress. Then keep drawing another straight line at the end of this line. After that, I draw a curved line to connect the end of the new straight line to the mark on the second straight line to create a neckline for the back pattern. From the end of the second straight line, I keep making another mark at 18cm, which is the half of my shoulder side. Then drawing a perpendicular line through that mark and cut the first straight line at one point. After that, I connect this mark to the top of the neckline to create the shoulder line of the back pattern. Extend the length of the shoulder line to have the sleeve line of the dress. The length of the sleeve line will be 30 cm, which is the length from the shoulder to my elbow or where you want it to be. Then drawing a perpendicular line from the end of the sleeve line. The length of this line will be 18 cm, which is the half of the width at the end of the sleeve that I want. From the second straight line, I draw another one at 42cm, which is the length from the shoulder to my belly button. So this straight line will be the waistline. From the end of the waistline, I mark up 25cm, which is a quarter of my bust side plus 5cm. Then drawing a curved line to connect that mark to the end of the sleeve line to create the underambic line of the back pattern. From the waistline, I keep drawing another straight line at 23cm, which is the quarter of my hip side. It's the hip line of the back pattern. From the second straight line, I draw another one at 120cm, which is the length from the shoulder to over my knee. It's the length of the dress that I want. And it's also the ending line of the back pattern. From the end of the hip line, I mark up 28cm, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 5cm. From the end of the ending line, I mark up 30cm, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 7cm. 
then connect two new mods to the one on the waistline to create the sideline of the back pattern. I redraw it a bit to make the line nicer. Then add in one centimeter for seam allowance later. And we will have the back pattern of the dress after cutting. You will need to cut this pattern in folded fabric at the edge line. Moving to the front pattern, I copy the back pattern to the paper third. Then I make the neckline three and a half centimeter lower than the current one. So the deep of the front neckline will be seven centimeter. Then redraw the curve line to have the neckline for the front pattern. As this is a draft dress, so I draw the side I want to have for the tie foot. Then from the end of that side line, I mark at 46cm on the ending line, which is the half of my hip side. After that, I connect this mark to one end of the hip line next to it to create a slanted line. This is the open part of the dress at the skirt part, so you can have more space when walking in this dress. To make the wrapping part of the front pattern, I remove the top part of the pattern at the waistline first. From one end of the waistline, which is the size I chose for the tie before, I mark at 34cm, which is the half of my waist side plus 2cm. Then drawing a perpendicular line to wrap mark to the ending line. And we will have the dropping part of the front part and after cutting. Now let's start sewing this dress. I use two and a half meter of silk cotton fabric for this DIY. The recommended material for this dress is the flattering fabric like silk, satin, texture from a mix of silk with cotton or mixed with linen. I make the tie for the dress first. I cut a rectangle with 12 cm width, which is two times the width of the tie that I want, plus two cm for seam allowance and 96 cm length, which is one and a half times my waist size. I fold two length lines of the rectangle together and sew first. Before turning it, I make a small cut at the edge of the top of the tie, then you a long stick to upside the tie. After that, I use the iron to keep on the folding from moving. You will need to have to tie like this. Moving to the wrapping part of the front dress, I finish the top of it by folding the end fabric inside two times with one centimeter each time and sewing. At the opening side of the wrapping part, I connect one end of the tie to the top of that line. Remember to make the seam at 2 cm inside in stick of 1 cm for seam allowance. After that, I finish the opening line by folding the end fabric inside 2 times with 1 cm each time and sewing. Moving to the front of the dress, I finish the slanted line which is the open part of the side line at the front of the dress by folding the end fabric inside two times with one centimeter each time and sewing. Now 
Now I'm connecting the front and the back of the dress together at the shoulder and two side lines. Remember to put the wrapping part of the front dress in the middle between the front and the back of the dress. Before sewing, I add one end of the other tie right at the top of the wrapping part where it's connected to the side line. Then sewing to connect them on together. At the neck of the dress, I measure the total length of the neckline foot. Then I cut a circle fabric with the same length and one and a half times the width of the hem that I want. I connect one side of the circle fabric to the right side of the neckline foot. Remember to sew with a half centimeter of seam allowance normally. After that, I fold the other side of the circle fabric into the first seam, then keep folding it again to hide on the end fabric inside and sewing. To fit the sleeve of the dress, I fold the end wrap it inside around a half centimeter foot, then keep folding it again and sewing. Moving to the end of the dress, I finished it by folding the end fabric inside two times with one centimeter each time and sewing. At the waistline of the dress, I use an elastic band with a half centimeter width to make the nine gathering fabric at the waist. This step will help to hold the dress at the waist and make the wrapping part stay nicer. But it's not really necessary, so you can skip this step if you don't like it. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This is a very feminine dress with all the detail it has. The gingham fabric I use makes it more casual and suitable for my daily life. 
but I think it would look more fancy with one color of silk or satin fabric. Hope you like this DIY and try it out soon. See you next week.